What's good everybody, welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben, I'm a USB-C Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Black Widow 3.0 from Hammer. Before we fire this one up, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. It's free, it's easy, and it is the best way to help us bring you the best non-biased and cross-brand reviews in bowling. While you're down there, be sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on the next review. This one needs no introduction. It's the next chapter in one of the most storied lines of equipment in the history of bowling. It only made sense as the Brands of Brunswick figures out the ideal utilization of the HK22 base material in their solid covers that they would use it on this gas mask core and that's exactly what we have here. The version of the Aggression Solid cover on this one is very similar to what was used on the Widow 2.0 from 2020, finished to 2000 grit out of the box. For the layout, I went with a four and a half by five by three 2LS layout. This is a pretty similar one to what I put on the Brunswick Infinity, as well as the Motive Black Venom, both of which I actually really enjoyed. Both of those pieces had weaker cover stocks and cores for sure, but I wanted the layout to encourage a more benchmark style reaction that uses most of the core's power in this Black Widow. It's always tough to pick layouts for super strong bowling balls like this, but the intent here is to amplify the strengths of this piece and not to mitigate the weaknesses. And on the lanes, the Widow 3.0 gave me pretty much everything I expected out of it. It's a true dull ASIM style shape that stands up with the strongest bowling balls on the market today in overall hook potential. Those that have thrown any of the Widows know what they're going to get out of this thing, and I think it's kind of a love it or hate it kind of shape. It's strong and predictable, and if it lines up with your game, this thing's going to crush pins. And that was probably my favorite part about throwing this one. Obviously, during these reviews, I like to explore the lane and do different tricks with my hand to see how the ball responds. And when I was keeping this Black Widow in front of me and just letting it roll, it smashed pins. Don't let the volume of corner pins I leave in these shots fool you. When you're lined up with this thing, it's going to do a lot of work for you. But on the downside, when you're not lined up or doing the right thing with this one, the shape looks okay, but the carry is just atrocious. I was honestly amazed by some of the shots that left corner pins, but my amazement doesn't make them fall over. This Black Widow 3.0 was good in one part of the lane, and in that part, it was actually great. But outside of that zone, it kind of stunk, so I certainly wouldn't refer to this piece as one that is versatile. However, if you paired this one with a Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid and a Hammer Hazmat, I think you'd have most of your bases covered. First off, let's assume you match up well with the 3.0, which means you're probably going to match up with a 2.0 Hybrid, which gives a similar shape, but only when there's more friction, so it would be a great one to ball down to. Then when those Widows are out of play, you'd be able to move in and cover some more boards with the Hazmat. It's not a perfect arsenal, rather it's a simple one meant to maximize the strengths of the bowlers who will see the best performance out of the Black Widow. Moving to our cross-brand comparisons, I first took a look at the Jackal Ambush from Motive, and here you can see just how insanely slow reacting this one is. It takes that strong, solid ASIM shape to the next level, and when it's right, it rolls so heavy that it's hard to beat. The only problem is it's pretty rare for most types of bowlers to match up really well with a shape like this one within a league setting. Then I grabbed the absolute absolute power from Storm, and with the weaker cover but stronger core, this one matches up well in a similar part of the lane when compared to the Widow 3.0, but has a more active shape down lane. This one blends out the lane a little bit more effectively, creating some more versatility, but when it comes down to repeating a shape in the same part of the lane, the Widow has the edge over this one from Storm. But with that, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers that I think would match up well with the Black Widow 3.0 from Hammer. The first is low axis rotation bowlers. These folks typically don't like opening up their angles much, and with the Widow 3.0, you don't have to. The gas mask core, as it has for generations at this point, will do more of the work for you and those that can keep their angles straighter up the lane are sure to see some awesome results out of this one from Hammer. The second recommendation is for speed dominant players. I think these players will be able to drill this one strong with some longer pin to PAP distances and see some awesome shapes. Again, the power of the Black Widow line is unlocked when you let the core do the work for you. So players that struggle with getting the ball to shape will appreciate the strong, consistent, and reliable reaction they get out of the Widow 3.0. The all-new Black Widow 3.0 is simply the next chapter in the storied history of this line from Hammer, but in the right hands could be your ticket to some memorable scores. 
And you can pick this up today and much more at BowlersParadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to my friend Nick Pluck for the drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. But as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a Bowler's Paradise. Peace.